All right, let's go to story number four reported by UPI.com. So officials with the ministry, you're going to like this one. I already know you're going to like this one. Officials with the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry in Turkey were called to rescue a brown bear that had been spotted and that needed help. And my question for you, Kate Elizabeth, why did the bear need to be rescued? Did he invade somebody's pool? He got high as a kite by eating hallucinogenic honey. We've got footage of this, Joel. <laughs> Throw that up. Look, look at this guy. So look at him. Look at him. So, <laughs> so he apparently ate a large amount of honey made from the nectar of the indigenous species of plant called rhododendron. Uh, they call it mad honey, and it produces hallu uh, hallucinogenic uh, effects. And that was the end result to that bear right there. Fortunately, he is fine, but uh, he was high as a kite, as you could see in that footage. Wouldn't you love to know what was going through his mind in that moment when he was sitting on the grass just there and he's just gazing? What do you think is going through the mind of the bear in that, in that particular moment? Oh my gosh, my initial <laughs> instinct was like, just let him have his trip. Like, why are we, why are we helping this bear? Let him enjoy his little hallucinogenic experience. I would like to think he's having the same like crisis of conscience that people with hallucin like it's like it's a really intense trip he's questioning his whole life he doesn't know what he's doing he thinks of all the prey that he's eaten before like i want it to be exactly like uh like you would see in a movie just like all of these thoughts rushing back at this poor bear but he didn't he didn't look like he was thinking about anything man <laughs> i looked cooked. he was done <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder if he was like you were talking earlier what if he was like i need some cold pizza damn it i need some yeah. hangover pizza as you called it i don't know <laughs> well here's my question for you related to this one have you ever gotten high or drunk inadvertently no i've actually never gotten high in my life and i don't think I've never, yeah, I kind of can't accidentally like sneakily get drunk. So even when I was drinking, I think it was always, I mean, you don't know, maybe, but maybe if you're in a social setting and maybe if like, you know, you have a drink and then maybe, cause you know, you, cause you lose track sometimes and then you have second, third, fourth. And then when you have to get up to go to the bathroom, that, that's when you're like, Whoa, you know, yeah, I don't think that I... happens. I don't think I've ever caught myself off guard with it. The only time that I've been like, sensationally sensationalistically kind of caught off guard in that way was i definitely uh after my wisdom teeth got pulled was like a little bit of a space cadet i was prepared for it but i had never as someone who's never done a drug in their life was like did not wow that was special that was like a very different experience for me does footage exist of this it's not i had them before like gosh I feel like I'm aging myself, but that was pre, I don't know if it was pre cell phone, but it was definitely pre any sort of quality uh, Got <laughs> cellular it. device. But Got I think it. I Got also it. was just like high as a kite and then just went to bed. I don't think I did anything <laughs> fun. Otherwise my parents would tell me about it. <laughs> so it was like the days of the razor kind of thing. Yeah, I think days? it was like a, yeah, a, a flip phone flip era phone. of life. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. Time for story number one reported by Design Taxi. This is real too. So this has been a sweltering summer. As you know, in many parts of the world, there have been several cities reporting record uh, high temperatures. The UK, they've really struggled with a heat wave over the last number of weeks. Burger King Japan introduced an unusual remedy to try to help people combat the heat. Kate Elizabeth, what did Burger King Japan come up with? They came up with ice cube burgers. Where it's just That's... a patty with ice in between. <laughs> did you hear about this one? <laughs> no, is that? Oh, God, you am I right? nailed oh, it. No. You nailed it. They created an ice whopper. Joel, let's see the picture. <gasps> There it is. It's got the flame grilled patty, no. but between the onions and the pickles, it has a layer of shaved ice right there. You can see the arrow pointing to it. It also comes with an ice bottle, which is basically a frozen bottle of Coca-Cola. They're calling it the limited edition summer love set. And it's selling for a thousand yen, which is about $7 and 49 cents us. You nailed it. They got a layer of shaved ice on the burger. And I got to tell you, so I am always willing to try a new food gimmick. 
you know, cause like different, different fast food chains in different areas, they'll have like a signature burger. I was in the Maritimes in Canada once and they had a McLobster sandwich. So like I had sure. to try it at McDonald's, but something like shaved ice on a burger. I'm just thinking a cold soggy mess, Kate, right? That's yeah. I feel like we've accidentally had that before. Like if something's just not fully defrosted or so, if you've had a hot pocket, you know what the situation <laughs> is, right? Right, right. <laughs> So it's not taste good. That just feels like they're not defrosting everything the entire way. There's no way that tastes good. I can't believe I, I wonder. It. That's sad. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe they had an overstock of beef and they thought, Jesus, we're never going to be able to sell all of this frozen beef. What are we going to? Aha. Maybe that's sure what it, it was. That's I don't know. it. That's the whole, that's the whole ball game. I do like the frozen coke on the side though because like i love little like slushies or whatever you could just wait for that to melt a little bit and you've got a nice right. little like 7-eleven slushy situation but hell pour no, it on top cold. of the ice burger there yeah why not why not go all the way <laughs> yeah they've already got a layer so of shaved weird. ice on the damn thing you know what i mean i i feel like they could have just been like here's a normal burger with some shaved ice on the side to cool you down on the side <laughs> Right. I feel like that right. would be better. <laughs> and here's another problem. What if they make too many of them and then while they're waiting to sell them, they got them under the heat lamp? That's it. You know oh, what I mean? yeah, that's a good point. Then you then just have what? water on your burger. Yeah, and now yeah. you just have a soggy Probably. bun at the bottom. It's going to be soaked through. I want to know if anybody's thinking. like, they're no, no. Is there extra ice? Has anybody ordered one with extra ice? Like, I have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> just go to the fountain, the soda fountain, and get a just scoop a cup of ice there. You know what I mean? That's it. Could have made your own ice Ooh. walker. <laughs> All right. Well, here's my question related to this one. What is the weirdest condiment that you can ever recall eating on a hamburger? Oh God. I'm so boring with food that I don't know if <laughs> don't I say have a good one. don't say ketchup. Oh my gosh. I just like, so I was an insanely picky eater when I was a kid and it wasn't until college that I was even like expanding beyond carbs. Like I started to have like chicken and vegetables. My friends, uh, that I, I went to an ROH event last year and we went to a baseball game and they made fun of me for the fact that I have plain hot dogs and I had to try a hot dog with ketchup and mustard just to prove a point. But I don't know if I've ever put anything like fun on a cheeseburger beyond. I don't know if I've ever tried one with anything other than like barbecue sauce. I wow. hate pickles. In I hate your life. coleslaw. In my life. Yeah. Because wow. I didn't even eat burgers until I was probably like 20. I was Really? So You'd never had it? I would have, was it because you didn't want to eat beef? Was that why? Or what was the reason? Just like a weird texture thing. I was, I would have literally peanut butter and jelly sandwiches at Thanksgiving when I was a kid. I was the worst. Sandwiches, ravioli. The only meat I would eat was ham. And it wasn't like, I wish, it, I wish there was a moral code be behind me, like not wanting to eat animals when I was a kid. Like I was the strong. No, it was just like a very weird texture thing. So I didn't even, I don't, I'm trying to think. Chipotle mayo is the before. furthest I've gone, I think. <laughs> Okay, well, here's a challenge for you because you just said okay. you would have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on Thanksgiving. So yes. uh, Bobby Lashley, and I feel like I've told this before on this podcast, Bobby Lashley once did an interview and he said that he had a peanut butter and jelly hamburger uh, at, a, at a restaurant. And I knew exactly what he was talking about because I've been to that place. It's called Slater's 5050. It's in Anaheim, California. I think they got other, other uh, chains of it in other places in the country. And they have a peanut butter and jelly hamburger. And I had to have the peanut butter and jelly hamburger when I was there just to try it. So there's a challenge for you since you, you clearly like peanut butter and jelly because you would have it for Thanksgiving. Throw some on a burger, Kate. Give I that feel a like try. I could see that being good, actually. It like was the unique. jam, it was like a little sweetness. Yeah. 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 It was almost like the salty sweet thing a little bit, you know? Yeah. I could take that. What's the weirdest you condiment go. you've had on a burger since I'm boring? You must have. Is that, is that the furthest you've gone? Peanut butter and jelly. Is so I've, one. I've had Nutella on a burger before. Uh, I've had peanut butter and how jelly on that, a burger. How did Nutella play out? That one feels weird. I think it was okay. Cause I, if I remember right, there was something salty on it too. It might've been, um, it was either like hash browns or it might have been like onion rings. There was something salty to combat it. 
you know? Okay. So Fair. it was, it was okay. I've had like lobster on a burger, like, you know, just lobster topped on a burger. I've had that before. I don't know if I go to a joint and if they have like, like say their signature in-house burger, I got to do it like that, that, that will be my go-to in any new place. Yeah. I love that. I feel like nothing gets better than cheese. So that's probably why I stick in my <laughs> wheelhouse. Like, how are you going to outkick cheese? Like, come cheese, on. <laughs> cheese is good. Cheese is good. Right? But I hope, I hope yeah. someday you can try peanut butter and jelly. Maybe I can find the recipe for that Slater's 50, 50, because I don't recall what else they put on it. But if I can find it, then uh, then maybe you can give that a go. And of course, we'll have to get it on video, Kate. Of Gonna have course. to do that. We'll do you know? more content. I'll try it. <laughs> more content. I'll try it. All right. I'm going to hold you to it. I'm going to hold you to okay. it. Okay. If you want to see all our videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, click the subscribe button below. Otherwise, we'll start posting spoilers about your favorite new movies.